A former child soldier who went on to become a commander in the brutal militia of warlord Joseph Kony denies he's responsible for war crimes. Dominic Ong Wen, who rose swiftly in the ranks of the resistance army in Uganda, turned himself in last year after a decade on the run. He's accused by the International Criminal Court of murder, rape and recruiting child soldiers. But he's pleaded not guilty, saying he was also recruited as a child and pressed into service. Mr. Ongwen, please rise. He's either a ruthless killer or a victim himself. Dominic Ongwen is on trial in The Hague on 70 charges of crimes against humanity, including murder, rape, torture and kidnap of innocent Ugandans. Hundreds of them were abducted and forced to carry away the goods which had been pillaged. If they could not walk fast enough, they were beaten and killed. Ong Wen doesn't deny he was one of the most senior commanders in Joseph Kony's brutal rebel army. It's accused of killing more than 100,000 people and kidnapping 60,000 children as soldiers or sex slaves. Nursing mothers whose babies slowed up their progress or who simply cried too loudly watched as their babies were callously killed or thrown into the bush and left behind. Ong Wen denies the charges against him and says he was abducted himself as a child and forced to become a soldier. I know. I know. The LRA killed people in northern Uganda. LRA committed atrocities in northern Uganda. And I am one of the people against whom the LRA committed atrocities. But it is not me who's the LRA. The Lord's Resistance Army originated in the 80s as a tribal uprising against the Ugandan government. Ever since, it's waged Africa's longest and most bloody insurgency. Its leader, Joseph Kony, is still on the run, despite years of efforts to capture him. Ong Wen is the only LRA member in the court's custody. He could face life in prison if found guilty. Anne Barker, ABC News.